About a week ago, I did a Clash of Clans tier list, and I read all the troops, Dark Elixir, and Elixir. I can't find that tier list, but uh, the video down below is if you want to check it in the comments down below. But today, we're going to be rating all the super troops, all the spells, and all that good stuff. Next episode, we'll probably rate all the clan capital and all of that. I think it's all here. Uh, but the super troops are here. But first, we're going to uh, rate the limited edition troops. I think that's what you call them. First, Ice Wizard. All of these are basically going to be the same tier as what the other video is by the way for those of you who watched that but all of these are basically kind of better than average because uh, all the limited edition troops are sorry the light is messing up i think that's better but my phone might fall now so let's just hope it doesn't uh i swear this is probably one of the weaker limited edition troops i think it's decent it just f throws things and targeted defenses it was good. I'd actually put it in great properly now that I think about it, but not as good as some devil ones. The battle ram, it was okay. Spawn barbarians, probably worth your money. If this is also a kind of capital troop for those of you getting confused, this is the limited edition one. It's a bit different. I think it costs a little more housing spaces and so on. Uh, I'd, put, uh, I'd put it in decent, probably one of the worst ones. Pumpkin barbarian. It was basically exactly the same as barbarian. It could just take an extra hit. It was twice as good as the Barbarian, I think put the Barbarian in I'll put this one in great, probably better than the Ice Wizard, just because it's so worth it. Giant Skeleton, super super good, the bombs are absolutely spurred everything, and on average it was about as good as a Yeti for slightly more housing spaces and then you have a bomb. Yeti with a bomb, for more housing spaces, fair enough, uh, I'd put it in amazing, it was super super good. Now, this thing, the balloon spiky thing, that's also in Clash Royale, it was super good. You can just spam and it'll take down bases. I'll put it over there. Oh, Primo is probably the best one here. Honestly, I'd put it in super overpowered. But keep in mind, this is a limited edition troop. This was only for like a week. I remember using this. You literally drop 20 of them around a the base and you, you, you close the app, come back, free start. Easy, nothing else. Body wizard, it's like a wizard, just better. So put it in amazing, uh, probably better than giant skeleton. Just a better wizard that does more damage and attacks faster. Royal ghost, definitely the greatest troop to ever exist in Clash of Clans. I don't know what they were thinking. You can just spam and it will just take everything down. It was invisible, did crazy damage. It was fast, it was insane. And uh, now, uh, what else do we, oh goodness, I'm back with the normal troops. Is that all the limited edition? It does seem to be. Okay. Super troops. Uh, Two barbarian, solid troop. I think it, it, it's pretty good, but it's just not there. It's not a super good strategy. It's decent. Two barcher. It has to be really, really good to use it, and I'm not. So we're gonna be putting it in great. It's really good strategies with it. Uh, good for funneling and all that as well. And overall, not not the best there is. The super giant is horrible. Never worth it. It destroys walls. It really doesn't do much. It's pretty terrible. I put it in bad, honestly. It's so bad. It's so terrible. I'm sorry. Seeing goblins, it's for, it's for farming now. It's not, I wouldn't say it's bad, but in most attack strategies, you're not going to want to do it. But farming is a part of the game. So you do have to give it a decent rank. I would put it in the bottom of decent behind the barbarian. Keep my guy, I'm ranking like actual good strategy above farming strategy. Sorry, my phone's a bit wiggly. I have to put her on like the stand thing. And I'm not at home, so I don't have my stand, like my actual stand. I keep a wall breaker. It's pretty good. Definitely better than a normal wall breaker. I put the normal wall breaker in terrible. Because there's no uh, use for it anymore. There's uh, just so many better options. But this one is actually okay. I don't really see what it's point for. But that's why I'm going to put it in situational. Some situation, it's still okay. What's next? Uh, but I keep taking me back to the normal troops. It's so annoying. I don't know there are no normal troops in this game. Uh, the rocket balloon. It's actually in the game right now that you can just train it. I assume this is the super troop version and not the train version. The train version is super good. You don't even pay for it. Rocket uh, balloon is great. Uh, you hate it into the base. It just does a lot of damage. It's better than the normal balloon for more housing spaces. But a lot of its uses don't apply to some of the balloon's best strategies. That's why I think I put the balloon in great or amazing, but I think this one, it doesn't apply to a lot of strategies and it's just more housing space, even if it doesn't damage. I don't have internet, I wonder if this tier list maker is still going to work, let's just hope so. I will probably put the rocket balloon here, probably better than the archer, just in normal situations you can use it in still. Super wizard, super good strategy, you can use it for every single strategy that is out there. You have to be relatively good to use it, but I, I think it's solid, super solid troop. Probably in great. 
Probably a little worse than the ice ones, just because it was limited edition. It was just better. Super Dragon, probably my favorite, uh, like uh, Super Troop. It's a, the most expensive one, but I mean you can use it just about everywhere. Uh, every uh, stack strategy, you can use mass Super Dragons. You can you throw it in everywhere? Really good in the Clan Castle too. I put it. Honestly, I put it in amazing. Super, super good troop. Uh, super great. Uh, Inferno, Dra Inferno Dragon. I think it's like twelve housing spaces or fifteen. It's a bit overpriced, but. If you, if you use it in the right place, like you sneak it into the town hall, it can one-handedly take down the town hall. Ramps are a bit blob, are really well, there's some super uh, sort of damage. There's not in a lot of the strategies, but it's good. Now, very interesting street. Now, I've been running these on attack, but uh, the, the super minion, super good on defense. That's what the best defense street in the game, no question. But on attack, it's not quite as good, but you can spread it out. Use the funnel somewhere over there, top decent. If it was on defense, it would definitely be super overpowered because you versus these in the clan cost, so you might as well give up. You've lost. Uh, connects super Valkyrie, it's terrible, honestly. Uh, very few strategies to want to use it. You can use it with normal Valkyries, but normal Valkyries aren't great either. Not just not worth the amount of elixir. And as long as the, by the time one rages up, that means one died, which means the others are probably almost always also going to die. Definitely better than the Super Giant, and I think only a little worse than the Super Wall Breakers. So put it there in a situational. And I'm gonna move the Super, the super Wall Breaker up to mid. Super Witch. Where do I put the Super Witch? It's weird. I think it's just overpriced, but the big boy and all the stuff does solid damage if you know how to use it properly. Still don't think it's that great. I'll put it over here. So you she's worse than the Barbarian here in decent. I sound. I think the Lava House is probably the worst troop in Clash of Clans, maybe besides the Wall Breaker. I sound's more expensive version that's better. I still think overall is better than the Lava Hound, because it at least freezes things. Overall is not great. I'd put it probably over here. I say it's better than the Valkyrie because it's like a good with the Lava Loon and so on. Overall not great. Super Butler. I just think a bit overpriced. It would just be worth 25 housing spaces, but. It's solid, in some strategies you can use it, I would just prefer the normal murder usually. i just put it in a, you don't really usually want to use it, but okay, you can make it use, just better options overall. Oh, here are the nightmare troops, uh, we, we, we'll do that, we'll, we'll do that in this video I suppose, and then we'll do the clan capital with the spells in the next video. Braze Barbarian, now uh, where are we going to put that, it's okay, it's the first one you get. Probably put it in mid, probably better than the Super Wall Breaker. These, these are obviously a bit different because they're not in the home village. You don't use them exactly the same. Have a stinky artist, you always want to use them through almost the entire game. Super, super solid. I'd probably put them all the way up here. If you know how to use them, they're incredibly good. If you don't know how to use them, they're still decent. So that's great. Once again, the giant. The giants in this game are just so bad. Why does the giant even exist in this game? It sucks so much. It, it, it's the box of giants probably better than the super giant. Just why though? Why would you want to use it? It's so so bad. It's just so bad. It doesn't do anything. It does no damage. It barely has any health. What? Like, what is the point? These minion things basically is a long shot where it can shoot things from far away. So you can kind of spread them around the base. Just guarantee yourself like a one star. With the new builder base, I wouldn't say it's quite as good. It's probably not something really wrong with it. Just don't, just don't use it. There's no point. Bomber. Now it used to be good to destroy walls, but I feel like even in the builder base, destroying walls started to get easier. Something like it's decent. It's situational, but it's better than the situational tier. So it'll put me at the bottom of decent. I think that's about a fair. Canacot, super solid troop. Does super good damage. Super good health. Just slightly better. Slightly cheaper than it should be. Great, great troop, um, in great. We'll put it like over there, I think that's a good spot for him. Night Witch, I'll give you the best one, just mass Night Witches, chuck it down, you probably guarantee it a free star on at least one of the half the villa base bases, so I'd probably put a lower decent, no, probably higher, higher great, uh, probably better than the cat card now I think about. Dropship, now this is very easy counterable, the like, what do you call it, the flamethrower thingy, uh, a lot of the defenses do a lot of damage against it, but if you play right and you get the right tanks for it, it can do solid damage. Uh, it's just a bit hard to use, so I'll put it in decent, I think that's fair. And keep in mind guys, these tubes are all not that big of a difference in how good they are. They're all relatively balanced, 
difference between the worst tier and the best tier is relatively big, but it's not actually that big. They're all still okay to use, except wall breakers, because why? Just tell me why. Why are you using wall breakers? What is the point? You get a siege machine, get a blue rider. It's not that hard. You can jump, spell. I don't just don't use wall breakers anymore. They're useless. I'm sorry, I got mad there. Okay, I'm super pecker. Is it super? I might be a power pecker. I think they changed the name. And um, you can use it in some shadows using the build base. Not super good. In the middle of beast, I think that's fair. It does good damage. It explodes. Just yeah, it just costs a lot. It got a lot of housing spaces. Hot glider, super good. Spread them around the base. Out of the app, guarantee a three star. Almost that's super easy way to farm. Obviously, we're not ready for some farming. If it was farming, you'd be an amazing. Overall, the decent troop. And you can use it to stun some of the key defenses in important times. In the middle of great, maybe maybe a bit lower. In the bottom of great, it's worse than the cannon card by quite far. Now, what else do we have? Is that everything? That is, I think, everything. Yeah. That's going to be it for the video, guys. If you guys have a great day, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Stay tuned for the next tier list. Look at the tier list down below. Bye.